Sorry, okay guys, we just uh, came from the truck center. We're still upstairs. We're gonna head downstairs. I just had to stop at the media center for a couple minutes. Uh, it's still busy, obviously. We're gonna go downstairs and take a look at the cars. Um, the exciting part. It's gonna take a while. This might be a long video. Might be a two-part video since it's so long, but we will see. Um, so yeah, let's uh, go downstairs and take a look at the cars. Alright, so here we are, H&R, uh, these guys have been in business for a while, I actually have a set of these guys uh, springs on my car, so they specialize usually in European cars, um, but I do have one of their sport springs on my, my Acura, so, alright, they got two Supras there, can dig it. Oh man, these cars are clean. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, guys. All right, darts and sleeves. I also have a pair of, uh, or a set of dart and sleeves in my car as well. Very uh, expensive. So here are all the applications there. They got some for Honda, obviously. K20, Acura NSX. So there you go. K20, and here's your D16. I actually have one for my car that's also bored out as well. This looks, uh, it says a Mitsubishi block, so that's probably what it is. So there you go, this is a Honda B18. I have this one in my car, but bored to 85 millimeters, so pretty good, pretty good sleeves. Really good for uh, high horsepower applications. That's an EcoBoost, EcoBoost Ford. Yeah, these guys are, these guys are known for uh, good sleeves. So they got a Corolla here. I think it's pretty nice. Wide body. Pretty awesome. Yep, 84 Corolla. Nice. Look at this thing. Ridiculous. We're not fight. Let's take a look at this. It's kind of busy over here. I wonder if this is the powertrain for it. Looks like a diesel. But, uh,. I gotta see this thing. Yikes. That's crazy. Look at all the RC cars out here. This tracks, this tracks. They brought their stuff out here. GoPros out here too. The tracks booth. Surprisingly has a lot of people in there. A lot of folks are interested in uh, RC cars. I don't blame them. It's fun to see uh, play with RC cars if you're a car fanatic. You know, has a wheelie bar on that one. So this is what I was talking about earlier in the new products aisle, where you have these MFDs. I think these are going to be the, the thing of the future, guys. Um, honestly, there. I don't know how thick this is in real life. But this is an actual representation of the thickness but you can monitor anything here it's it's pretty cool this one isn't functional obviously but um yeah i have one of these in my car uh not made by by uh banks but still look at this volkswagen is this a gti or a r it's a golf r nice that's paint too, that's not a wrap. Wow. Nice Viper. I'm 
ready for some uh, custom lights for the old school Honda cars. That'd be great. Wow, what is this? Wow, nice manifold. Wow, a lot of work in that one. Ready, you know, those guys, they make some really good turbo products for their cars. Amazing. This looks like a VQ engine, probably. I would assume it's a VQ engine. But, uh... Yep. That's a pretty tidy setup. Not too bad. It looks interesting, but I'm sure it works. There's all their exhaust stuff. Pretty nice. These guys are well known. They got a F22 or F20 set up there. And finally, everyone's getting on the uh, on the craze here. These uh, MFDs. Those are they're pretty nice. Have some mufflers here. Wastegates, everything. This is like a RX7 probably. Yep, FD. Huh? That's why they discontinued the one I have. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Check out the mannequin. Pretty cool. Sebon. Everybody know these guys for common fiber hoods. You look at the cars. Hoods are amazing. There's a look at the carbon fiber hoods in the back. Not bad. Turbochargers. These guys got some big brakes out here. Nice manifolds. Nice. Manifolds and everything. Man, look at the paint color in this Camaro. Wow. Wow. Wow, look at the roof in that thing too. Jeez. Yeah, this is one of the cleanest cars I've seen at the show show today. You're fine, thank you. My goodness, look at the interior of that thing. I'm sorry, I was thinking, yeah. Dude, the work on this car, the interior. It is. I wonder if it's a modern chassis or not. But you can see the carbon fiber, the roof there. The whole thing is carbon fiber. Is it? The whole the body, too? Yeah. There's no, there's no, there's, there's no, no seams, seams of wells. There's no pinch wells. There's, there's no, no pinch wells, no nothing. What? Well, somebody's making these dashes for these Camaros too. Yeah. So, where does this car is probably composite or carbon fiber, and uh, it it might be carbon fiber because even the trunk is carbon fiber, but they painted the top to look like a factory color. So, this might be an all carbon fiber car, and I don't know, but it's getting the looks, and usually cars. Um, usually show their flaws when you get really close to them but no matter how close you get to this car it's still you can't find any flaws so it might be all carbon fiber so guys take a look at the roof 
Yeah, we built some jokes. Oh, check the plane size. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Perfect scene. Oh, wow. It's carpeted with the lights up there. Yo, they put a lot of time into this car. Wow, okay, that's cool, that is sick. Dude. Completely redesigned Camaro, original body scan and digitally remodeled machine in high density foam to produce high quality full carbon body. So it's a full carbon body for sure. Side glass and vent only remaining. So the side glass and the vent is the only remaining equi original equipment. Wide body. So yeah. Yeah. That's an all carbon car. Wow. Got some high end cars and trucks out here. Almost the same paint color here on this truck. Might be. All right, so I went to the uh, I went to the Meekum auction last year, 28, 2018, yes. And something about those glass were very transparent. This one's the same way too. This probably is a new glass, but yeah, there's definitely no imperfections in that glass. And it could be the lighting. Take a look at the paint. Look how flawless that is. And the bed. Yeah, definitely nice. Funny car. This is the John Force car. I think he's gonna be here either today or tomorrow to talk to people. Nice car. John Force, obviously, he's a legend. Uh, I wanted it better than him, so yeah, respect to him for still uh, keeping up with the sport and uh, actually just putting up with the fans. They're very demanding, especially with him. Um, all right, check out the Subi. Not bad. Big turbo on there. Definitely nice. The guy I knew that was working on it said everything wasn't. I think it's clean. From the outside, it looked a little whatever, but the more you look at it, really nice right hand drive. Nice little cage back there. Wow, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I gotta ask him about this. Uh, it's pretty cool. Cars are nice. I have a question. So you guys obviously make these lights, these tail lights, headlights, yeah. really nice. Thank you. Very nice. Um, I guess my question is, how do you know which car to make a life force? Is it based on supply and demand? Like what, what the industry also demands? Supply and demand. And you have to actually be like, I myself, I'm kind of in marketing too. So I need to actually see what the trends are. Right. Are. What's the opportunity? Let's just say, like Subarus or OE lights are tend to be not <laughs> so interesting. Right. A lot of people are fixing up these cars. So I mean, that would be a great opportunity to get into it. And as you can see, we're going up. Um, yeah, backward too. Latest models, of course, we're gonna have it. Right. And we're going back to the old 405s, all the way from the GCA until now. So, do you guys uh, focus more on Subaru cars or any other manufacturers? Recently, yes. Yeah. And uh, we do focus on uh, Mustang as well. Okay. So, yeah. That's why I asked. Um, not that it matters. I have an older car, like an older Honda, and there's really no support for those older cars. And I, obviously, you're in the business to make money. You're not going to make a product that's not going to be in demand, obviously. 
So I'm just wondering because it's been out. How old are you talking about? Like EGs? I mean. uh, so yeah, between the 90s to 93s. I have a Acura Integra 93. So it, it was maybe between 89 and 93. Mm -hmm. And there hasn't been any support at least for taillights in that market. Um, okay. I know for, I saw some other companies make for the RX-7, which is also in the same kind of year range and uh, so forth. But I'm just wondering from a marketing standpoint, how do you choose which car to design a new taillight for? Yeah, it really depends. Like, uh, back then, if you're talking about EGs, yeah, we'll do it, the 9295s. Right, but recently, very popular. You see the numbers going, going down. down. Yeah. So the, I believe it. That, yeah, the cars are breaking down. Right. It could be that, you know, right. just a demand's not there. That's so, all, yeah. Very good. That's exactly what I was looking for, man, because uh, those cars used to be popular, but as you said, it's, it's going down now. You still have headlights for it. It just said it's not the new light bar style. It's a dual halo. Correct. And yeah. the newer light bar style is the, yeah, what people want. Yeah. We are going back, but we can't. We, we still need to see uh, the demands on that model. How long does it take as far as R&D and uh, say to design it? Is that a lot of time and money to, to do that? Usually about a year. Okay. A year to, I'll say, 12 to 18 months. It really depends. Like if I have to design up, you know, to get me the prototype, that thing fits perfectly. It will be within like six months or eight months, you know. Wow. But it's a process of you know test type. Right. This tail like took us about a year and a half. Yeah, it looks really good. With four prototypes. It's really Maybe. good. Yeah. Um, do you guys have a website I can uh, send to you guys? Yep. Here it is. Okay, cool guys. I'll, I'll make sure I plug yeah. it in there, man. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it very much. Thank, Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. Hi guys, so as you, said, as you heard, um, I didn't want to put the camera in his face, but these lights are nice. These are the more modern lights, and uh, they're obviously making them for the newer cars. And these are sequential lights. Uh, they're doing that for the Subaru, the 15 to 19 Subaru. Um, he's a sales director. And uh, so Spec D Tuning, if you can Google that, is the uh, name of the company. And I got the uh, website here as well. So we'll definitely, keep those guys in business because they're doing good things for the uh for the for the market there so that's cool wow look at this track it's too clean it's so clean Wait, the, uh, the rear brakes though, that's my concern. I can't, I, I guess there's a brake in there. I just can't see what kind of brake it is. Probably a different design brake. But, yeah, for sure. I think I saw some of the Exedi clutches uh, at the truck section earlier today. But uh, yeah, their, uh, their flywheels and uh, clutches are pretty good actually. Here's a good description of their selection here. Oil replacement, stage one. Um, I used a stage one before and uh, that was a, a pretty good clutch for the street and for some competitive use also. Stage two as well. And this one is spring. The one we saw this morning was not sprung. This one is sprung, so a little bit better street ability. But the uh, Exceti, um, really good company. I can at least vouch for the Hondas. Um, in fact, Honda came factory with Exceti clutches. Um, so, look at this thing. Right hand drive. Recaro seats, really cool. Wow, that's a crazy Supra. Jeez. It's gotta be on bags or something. <laughs> it's so low. Pretty cool though. And you got these nice calipers and brakes. Really nice. Wow, what kind of car is this? Let's take a look at that. Probably air cooled, I don't know. Let's take a look at the back. Yes. 
sick. Yeah. Yep, I figured it was air cooled. That's a nice package. Very nice. Take a look at this BMW. Wow. So this is the uh, the V8, I think. It's got to be the V8, uh, three series motor. Yeah, very very cool with the uh, the wing. A lot of these wings look kind of weird, but. Uh, the more aft you have it, you know, the more lever, the more moment you're going to have uh, with the downforce. It's all about placement with these things. Very good placement on the wing. All right, so check out this uh, the exhaust tip section here for the trucks. And I've been seeing this more and more every time I'm on the street. Take a look at how big this is. All right, guys, I have a pretty big fist. There you go. It's like a trash can. It's like a trash can. That's how large this thing is. But yeah, I mean, I guess this won't be primarily just for, for trucks like dualies. It might be for 18 wheelers as well. Who knows? But uh, very unique. And it just draw the attention to the booth. So it's working. Thank you. All right, guys. So if you want a, a truck for your team, your race team, you're going to have a, a starting race team. Then you got to have a truck, right? A race truck for your crew. All your toolboxes, everything's in here. This is legit microwave. All your circuit breakers and stuff. And you have an office there for your team. So say you want to conduct a team meeting, then here you go. Conduct your team meeting. You have your radio, probably TV, your window, and a nice little uh, table here with like seats, multiple seats seat seven easily so if you have a race team then this is what you need wow you can do a lot of rebuilding in here for sure so drawers everywhere um, would be cool though if it had a uh, oh it does is a double decker so the same where you're gonna put your cars and sure enough you put your cars upstairs you know guys this thing is huge Fedelite. these guys make um, campers and stuff like that they didn't know they made uh, race fans for race teams Probably and stuff like run. that so that's that's awesome all right we're gonna go in here in a couple minutes this is the North Hall if you want to see that, you can click on the next video. This is pretty much going to be all the electronics uh, for the cars. So, wow. That is pretty gnarly. Wow, it's a nice little Shelby. Might be a replica, but still nice. Yeah, All right, raised cool. wheels. Uh, these guys have really, really popular wheels. Um, I think I'll take a look at their booth just because uh, even some of the wheels that they have, I was looking at for my car. I'm not a big wheel person. <laughs> Had my car for almost 20 years and still on stock wheels but they do make some pretty damn good wheels there you go vocal wheels man these guys make some pretty nice stuff what is this <laughs> wow That's radical. You don't like it? Nah, I don't like it. 
<laughs> That's funny. Oh, guys. Yeah, I remember seeing this on the Fast and the Furious. Ford Escort. Mark 1. Pretty cool. What do we have here? PPG. I guess they'll be doing some painting in here. Oh gosh. Get ready for the colors, guys. Get ready for the colors. PPG. All right, let's take a look at this stuff. The camera obviously isn't gonna do us any justice, but we're still gonna try. But, um, yeah, this is pretty slick. Pretty cool uh, booth and design. I like the concept here. Especially with the lights, you know, they have real control over the lighting here, so it really, um, they really get to control the environment here. Look at this paint. You can't see anything with this camera, but but in the naked eye, this thing is sparkling. Pretty nice. And um, it's, it's it's really hard to see. I can let's see here. I can make it work. Check this out. All right, so that's what it looks like. So it's not just the paint and the sparkle; it's the textures and the patterns. Uh, and there's a lot of shadows in this paint. If you look right here, it's hard to see it. But you can see a lot of shadows, different layers of shadows in the paint. But definitely an amazing car. Oh, that guy so nice. I'm sorry, did I block that car? That's a V8 in there. Wow. That is sick. Nine four eight RS wide body. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Bayer brakes. There you go. They got everything here for your need. I might actually invest in one of these in the future. So we saw one of these in the uh, in the new products for 2020, and I think it was the same uh, trim of turbocharger. And yeah, look how large the thing is. And the other one we saw was like 133. This one's uh, oh, 143. So maybe a little bit bigger, but you can see the trim on this one. And uh, there's my fist, so you can see how big that is. It's almost twice the size. Coney, uh, the, the, the Mustang, Jaguar, Mini Cooper. So they make the red, I think they also make the yellow over there. That's what I have in my car as well. Coney makes some pretty good products. This should be like a sponsored video. I have like most of these parts in my car. That's exactly the one I have too, so. Um, yeah, fancy. <laughs> 